hello there I'm Ranger Cookie and today I'm going to show you what type of sleep system you might want I got a couple of sleep systems that the handicapper want to know what to use you might thought about getting an army or the uh, mummy bag so I have one for you handicapper I want to show you what it looks like what what I my views number my views do not matter. Your views is more important than mine. Number that. Number that. Um, I want to show you my sleep system or the sleep system that I usually use. So let's get add to it. Let's come over here. Come follow me. Follow me. All right. I want to show you. Stay still. I want to show you a couple of things I use when I go camping. Why I use it? Okay. Now I use the big, big, big rolls. Now some people don't want to carry this big bulky stuff. This is two of them. Two uh, bed rolls. Or whatever you want to call them. The little rolls that you... Sleeping mats. A lot of people like these sleeping mats. I use two of them when I do go out for a week's stay. <coughs> and they're so small. And if you're using a hammock with these, it just tends to slide you around. So I usually put both of these in and open it up as much as I can like this in my sleep quarters. Now I got double pillow detection and it's a layover. It's laying over one another and it's thick. Now if I'm doing an overnighter, just one night or, or two, this is the thing I use here. This is like a little yoga mat. It's small. Look, look at it. It's small as hell. It's just a yoga mat. I get these at flea markets for like two dollar. Two dollar! Make you holla! Yeah, two dollar, make you holla! <laughs> Alright, let me roll this up. We don't need this no more because this is one of the sy systems I use. When I go camping for two weeks or a week, I use the the thick stuff or I know the weather's gonna be cold so I want to keep warm remember a good night's sleep means a lot in the morning now you always want to know why grandpa's always grumpy your, your dad's always mad when you get old and your back hurts <sighs> so I carry two of these and when I go out for a week and I know it's going to be cold if I'm going out in the uh, mountains, I use this. Now, if I'm going to light camping, this is real light. It's not bulky. It's real small. Good thickness. And it's just a yoga mat. You get these at Walmart. Or you can go to the flea market and get you one for like $2. Now, it's small just like the other mat. But this will give you some type of uh, insulation from the ground. Unless you're using a hammock, that will give you insulation from the bottom of your hammock. Now you can get two of these and lay them back to side by side and you can roll around. <laughs> this is where most teenagers get their STDs. <coughs> Now, he was asking about a mummy bag. I want to show you what a mummy bag is all about. Now, if I was light camping or just want to go camping for like a night or a bug out system, I don't have it rolled up because what's the point? All right. This is the mummy bag. 
Now, I'm going to tell you the flaws about it. My point of view. Don't get me wrong, this is a good sleep system if you're laying on the ground. Unless you got a zipper. Alright, let's open this up. This right here is a protector, protects your inner. You want to get this to protect your. I'll show you. Now. There's different systems. This is the, the two little system. And this this protects your um, protects this from the ground getting poked into. It's just a little canvas thing that goes over it. And you got this sleeping bag thing here. And a zipper. What you want to do, you want to get in your mummy bag. If you get in your mummy bag, you want to button all your buttons first. If you can. If you can't, Bonnie, there's something wrong with you. And zip it up as you button. The flaws about the mummy bag is you can't barely turn and toss because some people turn and toss through the night. It don't give you much room. It's like being a small children's mummy bag or a small child's uh, sleeping bag, basically. Now, I don't recommend to do this during the summer. But it's supposed to give you good protection during the winter. And button up your protective. See, there's a rope thing in here. So you can tie a lantern. And sort of like a pair of shoes. Then you want to close off your protector. This is also for rain. It's like a rain sleeve. The K sleeping bag. The M19. 1945 water repellent uh, sleep system and this and you, you, you tie the rope in if you want but I'm not recommend you got a alright so basically they got these little rope tie uh, loop lanterns this is the water repellent uh, for your your mummy bag and this is good for a good winter because I'm burning up already. So I'm gonna get out of this thing before I have a what you call a heat stroke. <laughs> then mom will be coming to my grave. Now this is recommended. Not a thing of polyester. I recommend this sleeping system if you're going in a bug out system. I don't like it. Because it's too small for me. Because I like to toss and turn when I'm sleeping. So when you toss and turn, I don't give you enough room. Then again, I don't think I used this this one. I used another one. It was much older. And it was a, a, a pain in the ass for me. But a combination, if it's cold weather, this would be the owl deer item for you <coughs> if you're in the cold cold weather right now it's it's too hot to be using this way too hot and this is only good for winter see the buttons inside to keep keep the rain out the water so if you do get a the mummy bag make sure you get the up come up some damn it so it goes into that little uh, mummy case and this is the water resistant case to go over it 
There's a different system. They got the Superior Army sleeping bag. This is the uh, older version of the mummy bag. So if you get the new system, it will cook you. It will it almost, you could probably fry an egg in the damn thing. And it buttons up, ties up. This is your water resistant uh, thing any thing. So if you are going to think about getting a mummy bag during the cold days, go for it. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I, I don't like about it is it might be too small. You can't roll. Now, I could add this to it. Put this at the bottom and extra protection. Good, good combination. What you want to do if you want to roll this baby up. Is keep the, the top part open like this. Fold it in half. It's called the ranger roll again. Fold this in half. And start rolling as tight as you can. I just want to roll it up to show you what you're looking at after you get done rolling this thing up. And when you come to the end, take your, your opening and you want to stuff. Here, we might have to unbutton this one. Stuff. That part in the All right, I didn't know what took. My camera's being a bitch again. So basically, after you roll it up, you have this. Um. Show you again real quick. Now, so you have to do is take a fold it halfway, then the other half over the other half, and tighten it as much as you can. your hammock your sleeping gear in the sleeve and this is what you have at the end a little bundle of goodness all right I'm Ranger Kuki I hope you enjoy uh, the short video of my mats in the mummy bag that you asked about or talked about in one of your videos, I think. He was talking about getting a mummy bag. Well, here's one. Um, like I said, toss and turn and is not good with this mummy bag. Sometimes these are small. And I probably had a small one that day I used. I just got this one about a year ago. Never used it that much because I got other sleeping bags to use. Now look at this, show you the difference on the mats. Here's the small mat. Like I said, everybody has their ways of, they want to carry a big monster mat, they want to carry a small mat. These little yoga mats would be perfect ideal you can bring two of them and be smaller than this. Then, if you go into woods like I do through barely any pathways or trails, you got to put this big monster sustrosity on. Ugh. So, you can see the difference, but do you feel the difference in bed? 
Yes, there's a big difference. It's about the same. <laughs> All right, I'm Ranger Kuki. And I'm Ranger Kuki, and I'm signing off. I'll see y'all next in the next video. All right, handicapper. I hope uh, some of the information I gave you might give you a helping hand on if you want to buy a mummy bag, because you gotta buy the inserts, and there's a bigger mummy bag, and you have to put inserts in. So it's up to you. I just want to show you my flaws in it, which you can't turn much. And it's, you see how well it packs. It's good for a certain type of use, in my opinion. So I'm Ranger Cookie. I'll see you in this video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One more thing. How you like my new uniform? All right, this uniform I do believe it's good for winter time. Uh, the reason why they got these pockets on here, and every pocket makes it hotter in that area. Uh, I just don't like them, but they're good for winter. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope you didn't see me. <laughs>